Hello there, good day to you all and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about how to make a backup battery for your router and specifically I'll be using iNetflix ZTE MF286 router as an example in this video. I actually saw some comments in my previous video about um, iNetflix data, iNetflix router rather requesting for how to make a backup battery for the router so i'll be showing you how i did mine and it's pretty easy it's something you can do on your own and it will not cost you much so but the things you are going to be needing for this backup battery is a battery itself i got this particular kind of battery the mercury battery so it's specifically a 12 volt battery you need a 12 volt battery for this so you need to get a 12 volt battery and the um, ampere of this particular battery I bought is 7.5 ampere per hour so this is the battery I've been using for a while and I have a particular charger I use for charging it you can get any kind of charger you want then you need this kind of plug something like this that usually comes with a charger the, the, the charger of the router itself so you need something like this that you can use let me focus very well so that you see it so anytime you get something like this then this kind of wire will be pretty useful for you so in my own case i had to attach another wire to it so that it would make it longer so i made it longer and i used this alligator clip for the terminals so you are going to use something like this i have some other ones here I actually ordered them from Aliexpress so these are smaller ones these are bigger ones I have them like that so you are going to need these clips because you'll be using it to, to connect to the terminals of the battery so for instance now and you must not make a mistake please you must not connect you, you must not connect wrong the terminals wrongly you, you have, in fact you actually have to check the polarities the polarity so like i was saying you have to check the polarity make sure you connect positive to positive ter positive terminal the negative clip to the negative terminal please don't make that mistake because if you make any mistake you are going to fry your router immediately so you have to connect it like this just make sure you clip it to the terminals and you connect the other hand i've already taken the reading of the the, the polarity so there, there won't be an issue here I know, already know what I'm doing with it so after you do that you now plug it to your router just normally the way you normally charge your router so once you plug it it will start it will start charging immediately but as for now the battery is actually full here so it's not charging at the moment because the battery of the router is full so ordinarily when the battery is low it will start charging so it just it's pretty simple it's something you can easily set up and do on your own it won't cost you much i got this particular battery for about i think 5500 i can't really remember precisely but it was within that range as of when i bought the battery some months ago so so get a 12 volt battery and do your polarity checks properly get alligator clips do your connection properly and connect to the terminals then just connect directly to your router it's not something difficult it's something you can easily do on your own and don't forget that you need a charger to be charging your battery you have to get a charger for charging the battery so that is also important you have to put that at the back of your mind factor all the cost and you just get this thing done within let's say like 7,000 or 800 naira or 7,000 or 8,000 naira you should get everything running smoothly so please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please kindly do that so that you get more great content like this and turn the notification bell on in order to get notified as soon as i upload new videos and i can assure you that you'll be getting great content from this channel regularly on a regular basis if you have any question please kindly put your questions in the comment section so that i'll answer them anything i did not mention or anything you think you are confused about just put it in the comment section and i will definitely answer your questions 
Thank you very much. See you next time.